In the previous video, we made it so when we hover over these buttons, the map image, the description, and the map name is shown and set up properly. Now what we want to do is we want to make it so when we click on the buttons, they actually take us to the map that we want to, well, that we click on. So to do that, we're going to move on to our game instance, into the header, we're going to make a new protected section, just call it void, or it's going to make a U function, blueprint callable, it's going to be void, let's call it, what would be a good name? Go to map, it's going to be fstring, url, or map, url. Going to create the definition. And set it up. So we're going to be doing a server travel. And in order to do that, we need to go to forget world. And to access what we need in get world, we need to include engine forward slash world dot h. So now we go get world, server travel, then the map URL, which is map URL. And that is all. So we're going to compile. Wait for that to finish. And go back to our solo map button. Click the button. We're going to create an on click event. And we're going to get our game instance. We're going to cast it to our Nazi zombie game instance. And if it's valid, whoops, we're going to do go to map. And then we pass in the map URL. So we're going to get our map info. We're going to break it. And we're just going to pass in our map URL. Just like so. Compile, save. Let's give it a try. Solo, map one. Here we are, it's completely empty. That's the right map. Solo, map two. Here's the one with all of the cubes and the unbuilt lighting. As shown here, map one and map two. Map two with the all the crud, map one with nothing in it. But as you saw, uh, actually I don't know if you can actually see, I have no control right now. So what we need to do is in our map one, blueprints, level blueprint. We're gonna right click, do search for begin play. We're gonna get get player controller. And because we know we're not gonna be hosting any sort of dedicated server or anything like that, we are fine to just go ahead and do this. We don't need to do any dedicated server checks because we're all gonna be hosting listen via listen servers. So we're going to do Gate Player Controller. Uh, just to be safe, we're going to show mouse. Make sure that's false, just in case. And we're going to set input mode to game only. Just like so. I'm going to copy this, compile, save. Do the same thing for map 2. Paste it in. Compile, save back to our main menu and give it a try. All right. I can now move around. Let's do map two. With all these little cubes. So we are now loading and joining our map as we want. So all we did here was simply made an on clicked event for the actual button that spawns in our vertical box. We go to our game instance, we cast it to our custom game instance that we made, and call our custom function that we made called go to map, which takes in the parameter of map URL. So we just simply pass in the map URL from the info that we gathered from the button. And that is literally all there was to that. Very simple. So now that that is set up, we can go ahead and move on to 
our cooperative section now that solo is finished. So this is going to be where we actually get into creating, pretty much just creating servers. So we're going to be mimicking how War to War does it. We'll click on cooperative. We're going to have an option for create server, find server, and all that kind of stuff. And we're just going to be gradually going more in depth with more and more features as we kind of make a base to build upon. So that way, all the features are there. We just need to kind of plug and play. So now that Solo is out of the way, I will see you in the next one when we move on to the cooperative.